I'm Pat Hindle from Microwave Journal, and I'm here at IMS 2018 with Al Horn of Rogers Corporation. So, Al, you guys just introduced a new material, Magtrex. Can you tell us what that's about? Yeah, we did, Pat. And that actually, I'd say it's kind of a new class of microwave materials. It's a, you know, can be copper clad or unclad PTFE composite laminate, which has a controlled permeability, uh, which is the, essentially the magnetic constant, as well as controlled permittivity or dielectric constant. Yeah, so what makes it, you know, there have been matched mu equals eps, if you will, materials in the past, but generally they don't operate at high frequencies or actually become extremely lossy at high frequencies and are used for, you know, as microwave absorbers. And in the case of Magtrex, the material has a both low dielectric and magnetic loss up to 500 megahertz. And what does that enable designers to do or take advantage of? I guess if you are into designing circuits, uh, you'll likely remember that the miniaturization factor that you use in design is equal to the square root of the dielectric constant. But actually, it's the square root of the dielectric constant times the permeability or magnetic constant. Yeah, so this gives you, a, a, you know, so a material that has both a permittivity and permeability of greater than one gives you greater miniaturization. And then also, again, if you're into this kind of thing, you'll remember that the, you know, that a wave travels in a material according to the impedance of that material, which is the ratio of the permeability to permittivity. And in this case, you know, the Magtrex material has values of dielectric constant and permeability both of approximately six. So you get the miniaturization factor of the square root of 36, but you still have the same ratio of the two as free space. Yeah, so this gives you a matched impedance material. And so what applications is that good for? Yeah, well, no, in, you know, in particular, there were seeing a lot of interest in, you know, in, you know, in antenna design. There's so something like, you know, these types of patch antennas. So you know, it can, you know, it can, you know, substantially reduce the size and also the height while maintaining high bandwidth. So let's say, you know, so you know, in the, you know, in the case of this, you know, this is actually operating at 350 megahertz without the Magtrex load, which are these pieces of the, you know, of the PTFE composite. This material would be 85 centimeters on a side. Wow. So you can see that there's a substantial reduction in size, but it, it maintains the high, you know, the bandwidth. Yeah, so essentially, like I said, you know, dielectric constant when it shrinks an antenna reduces the bandwidth, but when you're shrinking it with the increasing permeability, it does not decrease bandwidth. So how is that different from the normal Rogers materials, other laminates that you have? Well, I said, you know, I mean, all other commercial laminates have just a dielectric constant, so they don't have the advantage of the matched impedance, and if you use them to reduce the antenna size, it will come at the cost of bandwidth. And are there any limitations to this material? Well, so, like I said, you know, you know, unlike you know, low loss, high, you know, the standard low loss dielectric high frequency laminates, it does you know, stop operating effectively by becoming quite lossy above five or six hundred megahertz. Mm -hmm. And I said, with, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're hoping, uh, well, we are quite confident that our customers are very creative engineers and they find other applications for it as well. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today. It sounds like a great material for uh, size reduction, and we look forward to seeing what applications are implemented in the market. Okay, well, thanks very much, Pat. Very interesting.